What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, clicky, hold on, clicky, click, there, okay, for another episode commentary of fictional fights, and boy do I have a lot to say about this one, <laughs> oh boy, the episode no one likes, Danny versus Jake, because of the results, look, I'm sorry, but I worked really hard researching this fight. And even after everything and people in the comments have said, even after all that, I still... I still haven't changed my mind. I still think Jake would win. <laughs> because... <laughs> okay, so their main, main defense was... First of all, Danny's a ghost. And... But Jake is able to hit ghosts in his universe because of the... You know, magical things. Or, yeah, he's, because he's magic, all that. And those ghosts were even able to be trapped inside, like, a cup or a trophy type looking, a goblet type looking thing. Like the Holy Grail type thing. <laughs> they look like they could be trapped in that, just like how Danny could be trapped in a thermos. And he has been trapped in the thermos on multiple occasions in one episode before. <laughs> By his sister Jazz. So Danny is already kind of similar to those ghosts. And while Danny has dealt with dragons before, they again were ghost dragons and could be defeated like any other ghost. They could be trapped in the thermos. They could be stalled and distracted, so they could be trapped in the thermos. All that junk. Oh yeah, and here's the talk about PIS. Like, where characters do one thing and then have never shown anything close to that again. Like, Danny's chasing a space shuttle here, and the space shuttle, like, lands exactly where it took off, which I found hilarious. And then Danny's, I mean, Jake escaping a wormhole? No, that couldn't happen. Uh, but also, Jake has experience, like, I know they have about the same amount of experience, but Jake has always had his powers from, like, birth. He's just learned to use them. Danny just got his powers all of a sudden when he messed with the strange machine blah 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 that his parents built. You see what I'm saying? Like, Jake has more experience in technique because his grandpa taught him, and in base form he's stronger too because he he changed back as like studio lights are falling on him and he was perfectly fine. Like, not even anything broken. Like, it didn't even matter to him. It just crushed him, so... And he took it like a boss. And then Danny, he gets thrown around in base form. He gets bruises and all that. He gets scratches. He groans in pain when stuff like that happens. And another one, another thing that people try to use against was that Danny lifted a bus. Yeah, he lifted a bus. What now? It's not a throwing things at each other fight, it's a fight. It's a fight fight, not a throw things at each other battle. If it was a throw things at each other battle, then yeah, Danny would win because he can lift a bus and throw it at Jake. But no, it's a fight fight. They're going to be punching each other. Jake's not just going to stand there and let Danny throw a bus at him. Which is another thing I'd like to mention. Danny always, he always like, dodge one attack, dodge the other attack, and then the third one... Gasp and stare, and then let it hit him. That's what Danny does. Uh, you can probably hear the shakiness in my voice because I'm making all of you like steam and fume. I mean, Jake. Jake knows martial arts. How's Danny gonna get past that? Danny swings. Jake knows how to fight. He's dealt with more variety of creatures than Danny. I mean, I know there is a wide variety in the ghosts Danny fight, but they can all be defeated the same way with the Fenton Thermos. Uh. And yes, both Danny and Jake receive help from their friends in most of the fights, but mostly, like, Sucker, Sucker, <laughs> Tucker and Sam help Danny more than Jake's friends help Jake. Jake's, no offense to Jake's friends, but they're kind of useless. I mean, they do help when the episode's centered around them, but when the episode is, like, mainly set up for Jake to win... Then he wins. But even when an episode is set up for Danny to fight the enemy, then 
Sam and Tucker usually still help anyways. When the episode's set up for Jake to be like the main focus against the enemy, his friends are mostly useless and Jake is the one who ends up like doing the work. So, it's sort of like, it's less about stats here and more about like experience. Like Jake just seems more experienced and skilled and he is faster, just not stronger. I mean, and, uh, intangibility. Uh, Jake was able to hit ghosts that were intangible to humans. So, I don't know how Danny's gonna avoid that, because Danny can be hurt by physical objects. Uh, in the episode with Fight Night, I believe, Skulker picked up a baseball and a baseball bat and swung it at Danny, and it knocked him over. I mean, dude, it's a baseball. I mean, I know that would probably hurt, but you're... You're like, uh, you could destroy buildings, Danny. Your building level. Come on, man. A baseball? Really? <clears throat> oh. The rage that went into re researching this episode. Oh my gosh, you could just, you could just ask our host, Haru. Oh my gosh, I had to rant, I had to rant at him about everything. <laughs> because it's, it's not like the series is awful. I mean, it's very good at storytelling, I'll give it that. Uh, like, the situation with Rose and Jake, they are so much better than Danny and Sam. Like, good grief. Danny and Sam is like the most generic thing ever. Rose and Jake are actually kind of interesting. Well, Rose at least, not Jake. Jake is like the one thing that makes me dislike the show. Like, there are so many, there are so many actually good things about the show. And it's all ruined by Jake. Like, he still has some development, but something about the way he acts is just... Ugh, ugh, cringe. Mm, and the side characters are annoying, too. Like, it has, it, has, it has the story. It just doesn't have the right characters for the story it wants to tell. Mm. Like, the spot behind the left ear... I feel like that would be Danny's biggest chance, but how would Danny know about that? Because that's like a weakness to Jake's universe. I even looked it up to make sure, to make sure like if it was actually common like in mythology, if there was like a spot behind the dragon's left ear that would slay them instantly and I didn't find anything. I researched like for, for a whole day I believe trying to find like actual dragon weaknesses and compare them to Jake. So Jake is a very different dragon from other universes. None of, like, even the Sphinx hair. Like, Sphinx hair, I, I was sure it had to be some kind of weakness for dragon. His Sphinx hair, that's just so random. But nope, Disney came up with that. So that was, I guess, it's like a Superman kryptonite thing, I guess. So that was pretty interesting. <sighs> oh, one thing. When I was researching, there was there's a side character by the name of Spud, probably the only good character in the show. Like, he's like the goofy psychic. When you think of goofy psychics, you think of funny ones that mess up all the time, like Ron Stoppable from Kim Possible, and then really dumb and annoying ones like Patrick Starr. Spud is like a mix of those, but minus the annoying and minus the screwing everything up. Like when Spud helps, he he helps. Like, he's not that bad at it. <laughs> oh yeah, and this one. I had an animation from Animation Rewind. But I couldn't use it because he animated Danny winning. And that's not the results I got. And I think that's all I want to talk about. That's... that's my struggles. I don't want to get to... I don't want to get to the cringeworthy part where, I, where it's me. Like dressed up as Danny raging around. I'm gonna I don't wanna go there. Please don't make me go there. So we're gonna end this commentary here. Hope you enjoyed. Oh dear. Mm -hmm.